Hello guys, welcome back to Pow Gang. So today, I'm going to teach you all how to solve a 5x5 Rubik's Cube using the easiest beginner method. So let's get right into it. So for the 5x5, I'm going to teach you guys how to solve it using the reduction method, which is basically, if you guys haven't solved a big cube before, you solve all of the centers, and then you solve all of the edges, and then you solve it like a 3x3. So I expect you guys to know how to solve it like a 3x3. So I'll mix mine up, and then I'll be right there. So once you have your cube all scrambled up, or if it was already scrambled up, first... The step is to make the white center. So how you need to do that is by making three bars. And as you can see, the center is three by three, so you need to make three bars. So first you need to make the middle bar and you go like this. You move one uh, side piece up in the center and then you rotate it and then you move another side piece up in the center. Then you need to make the second bar and as you can see, I paired the piece, the corner and the side piece together. And then you need to find another corner to put with them like that. And then you insert it by just uh, moving it so they're both uh, within the same line. And then you put it in like that. Now for the third one, if it's on the bottom, you can just put it in this layer and then move it up. But I have no pieces on the bottom. So... You move it like that to pair the two corners together. Then you rotate this piece and then you make this bar and move it up. And that's your first center done. So the second center is uh, yellow. And how you're going to do that is you're going to do the same way. Make the bars uh, piece by piece. And as you can see, I already have that one bar. So I move it up. And the way you do this is on white, if you moved it up, it moved that uh, right there. So you move it up, then you do a U2, then you move it down. And then it preserves that bar. So now we need to make the second bar. And then you can do the same thing, except if I move it up again, it uh, breaks that. So you put it where there are the two bars on the same line, you move it up. Then you do your U2 and move it down. And then your yellow center should be solved. So for your next center, you can choose which one to do. But uh, I'm going to go with red. So I move that piece there. I do the middle pieces. Then once you have the middle bar, you need to move it to the side. So that if you're doing uh, slices like that, it doesn't break it up. Then you need to make another bar. And then put it in like that. And then the last one is like this and then you just move it to the side and put it in and then fix the other bar so that's the first center done now I'm going to do the blue one and um, if you guys need more of an in-depth tutorial on centers I have one and um, I have a in-depth tutorial so you guys uh, can make sure to watch that video because it it's dedicated to big cube centers, so make sure to watch that if you need a bigger tutorial. But here I have this bar. And uh, for inserting this bar, a trick is instead of inserting it like this, because then the blue will come out and it will be on this layer, you want the blue to help make other bars. So you want the blue to be on either of these two uh, sides. So you move it up. Then you do your U2 and then move the blue right there. So now we can just pair the blue together. And then we can just insert it like you do normally do. And you can either move it down or rotate it like this and move it up. And then you have your second center solved. So for your third center, you want to get as much of the pieces uh, towards their uh, uh, layer where they have the center as possible. So for this, I could do something like an uh, M prime U2 M, and then that would pair those together. And then I could insert it like this. And you basically just wanna do it until all of the pieces are 
uh, as much as possible on their center. And now I'm going to teach you guys how to use this trick called a commutator. I go over it in my Big Cube Centers tutorial and it swatch, uh, swaps um, the two pieces. So uh, for commutators, I would need to swap these two pieces. So uh, the way you do it is you put them so one's under the other. Then how I do it is I move one up, then I do a U-turn, and I don't do a U2 turn, I just do a U-turn. Then you move the other piece up, then you do a U uh, prime, so it move it back to this layer. You move that piece down, and then you do another, uh, then you rotate it back to this layer, and then you move that one down. And then that solves all of the centers. So we'll go over that in terms of a corner. So if you're going to switch these two corners, you put one under the other, you move that one up, rotate it to the side where it's not in this layer, because if I put it like that, then it would still be in that layer. But I rotate it to the side where it's not in that layer, move it up, then rotate this one back, move it down, and then down. And then that is how you solve the centers on a 5x5. So now you need to find edges, and first you need to find an edge uh, that is uh, that has two pieces, and it could be they could be together or they could be flipped. I also have this one. I'll use this one, um, and then you need to find the last edge. So it'd be right here. Then you need to maneuver it so they're both on the uh, opposite slices. So you can just do a move like that to pair them together. And we're using free slice and then you need to search over the rest of the cube what other ways there um what other edges and this uh middle layer so this layer right here not on the top or the bottom so it can't be on here or here and then you need to search for edges that uh, are also the same color so as you can see i have these two uh, green and white and then you can put one in so i can put mine in like this pair those two together and then pair this one or wait as you can see this one is flipped so how you're going to do this is you're going to use this flip algorithm it'll be at the top of the screen to flip this edge and then you can put it in so you do this flip algorithm it's r u r prime f r prime f prime r and then you pair that together then you search for other ones and as you can see I have this one so you put another one in and uh, that'd be that one so I can put that in and then I move that over and don't worry about your centers uh, in the end we'll fix them all and I also have a tutorial on solving edges uh, using this method so you guys can search for that for more in-depth so now I have these two and uh, so I have to search for the last green um, orange, or white orange, not green orange, it's right here. And I can pair those two together and then put the last one in. Now that's right there. And I need, as you can see, I have these two yellow and greens. So I get my next yellow and green. And then pair those two together and then put this one in. But if it needs to be flipped, you can take it out and that's the same way if you have um, the other edges together. So the goal is to just put all of them together uh, unless they need to be flipped. So then you flip this one and then you put it back and the algorithm is still at the top of the screen. So now I have the white and blue. Next, I need to find the other white and blue and if it's in the middle layer I'll be just fine I'm just making sure yeah it's in the middle layer so I can just uh, put this a random edge there and then I need to put the white and blues there as you can see since it's the same color one needs to be flipped so I can flip this and you basically do this until you have uh, the whole top solved and the whole bottom solved so now, as you can see, all of my edges are correct on the top layer, and all of my edges are correct on the bottom layer. So now, what you need to do is um, 
put the centers back together so you could just do a slice move and then what you need to do is um, pair the edges together so um, as you can see I have these two and since they're the same color they need to be flipped on the front so I flip one put that one in the back so I can insert it so now then I put that there and I put the other edge in the bad edge that I put already put in the back and then I put it move the slice back and then we're in this case so here I have that and you need to make sure that there's a bad one of the bad edges on the top I can do that slice move like this put it in and if none of your edges um, are correct which means um, like if there's uh, not two of the same edge on each slice so they're not correct then uh, you can uh, just put one in and then start from there so just like for example if um, at the start if like there was no uh, edges that had their that same edge with them on the same uh, big edge you can just uh, pair two together and then you have that so now we're in this case which is our last edge so I can do the flip algorithm or as you can see I can put that in but then I have no bad edges to replace it with these are the last two so how we do this here is you do a flip algorithm to make sure that they're either both on the top or bo both on the bottom and we're going to do the yellow and um, orange so they're both on the top so how we're going to do this is you do a slice move like that and then you do the flip algorithm and then you slice back and now it should be solved and we'll go over the last edge case so if you're on your last edge and I also went over this a lot in the edge pairing tutorial so if you guys have any problems make sure to uh, watch that tutorial because it's very in-depth it's on our channel I'll also put the link to the edge pairing tutorial and the centers tutorial in the description so you guys uh, know uh, and can watch each of them easily so for the last one if you have it in this case how you're going to do it is you're going to do a parity algorithm which basically just uh, uh, swaps these two edges and like flips them so the middle one will stay the same way but it will swap these two and flip them so how you do it is you do it like this you need to keep it on the top front and the algorithm will be at the top of the screen so you do it like this, R wide two, back two, up layer twice, left wide, up layer twice, right wide prime, up layer twice, right wide, up layer twice, front layer twice, right wide, front layer twice, left wide prime, uh, back layer twice, then you do right layer wide twice. And now you have all of your edges solved and all of your centers solved, so now you can solve it like you solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. And since there isn't any parity, which means um, parity is only on a 6x6 six six and 4x4, four four, um, you don't need to worry about that, so just solve it like a 3x3 three three now. So that sums up how to solve a 5x5 five five Rubik's Cube. Uh, like I have said throughout the whole video, um, if your cube isn't solved or you need help solving your 5x5, five five, check out the other videos I made on big cube centers and edges. Those videos are me using a 6x6, six six, but um, for 5x5 five five, it's mostly the same. So you can make sure to check those out. Uh, they have a little bit more detail um, because it's just one video on uh, how to solve centers and edges. So check those out if you haven't already. And please make sure to subscribe to Pow Gang. It would really help us a lot and mean a lot to us. And check out our other videos on tutorials, reviews, 
and solves and unboxings. So make sure to check those out and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a good day.